premier climate scientist, the uh, university distinguished professor and director of the Center for Science, Sustainability, and the Media at the University of Pennsylvania, and the author of The New Climate War. Uh, Dr. Mann, I, I'm, you know, we've kind of talked about the challenges that the world is facing right now and the, and the, the, the failures of COP24 and, uh, or 27 rather, and, and uh, you know, how things are accelerating and all that sort of thing. There's also, it seems, an awful lot of good stuff going on. And, and one of the things that most encourages me uh, is the Sunrise Movement, although we've reached out to them a couple of times to come on the program and have not been able to reach anybody who, will, you know, who, who, uh, who wants to do so. It's, it's just kind of strange. But uh, what I'm seeing is young people across this country and, and, and across Europe you know, Greta Thunberg, the, uh, the, the iconic leader of this movement in, in some ways, or at least uh, kicking it off, really taking this seriously and really moving forward, and, and young politicians also in the United States. What are your thoughts on that? What's your, what's your understanding of that? And, and, and how do you think this is going to play out? We've got uh, about a minute and a half, two minutes here, two and a half minutes here yeah. before the break. Sure. Well, I think, first of all, the, the problem you're having, Tom, and getting them on the show is they're the sunrise movement. You've got an afternoon show. So if you can maybe <laughs> move it. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> yeah, okay. Sorry, it's a dad joke. I am a dad, yeah. uh, after all. Um, you know, I, I think it's been, uh, you know, and I am a dad. I am a father. I have a daughter um, who's now 16 years old. But, you know, uh, I remember when she was uh, very, you know, when, when she was younger, and, and, and I thought a lot about what sort of world we're leaving for our children and grandchildren? What do we want our legacy to be? And I think what's so important about the youth climate movement, about Greta Thunberg and all those other youth climate advocates and the Sunrise Movement is that, you know, as we've talked about before, they've recentered this conversation where it needs to be. For too long, we've let it be entirely about science and politics and economics and framed in, in terms that play to you know, the polluters, when in fact, this is fundamentally an issue of ethics. What sort of planet do we want to leave behind for future generations? And on a daily basis, uh, the Sunrise uh, Movement, the, the Youth Climate Movement, they remind us of that. Yeah, yeah. And, and, and they're doing so uh, in a way that increasingly is hard to ignore, which I, I think is a really good thing. I have, uh, you know, I have four kids and I've got two grandchildren two and four years old and like, you know, they're gonna, they're gonna be uh, in, in the, in 2080, they're gonna be my age. I mean, that's, that's just mind boggling. Anyhow, uh, yeah. uh, Professor, uh, Professor Mann, it's so great to have you with us. Thank you so much for dropping by today. Uh, thank you, Tom, always a pleasure. MichaelMann.net. You're listening to the Tom Hartman Program. Call 202-808-9925. And Michael E. Mann with two N's on Twitter. And check out his most recent book, The New Climate War. We'll be right back with your calls and the news of the day.